This is our lateral wall push. We're also going to use this as an adjunct movement to create tibial external rotation or a cueing for that. The first part of the movement, we're going to get our feet wider than shoulder width. Now I'm going to go change my profile here. The first part of this movement is going to be our hip hinge, which we have another video on. But I'm going to bend at the waist first, almost like I'm bowing. And then I'm going to let the knees soften that stretch in the posterior chain. So I'm going to turn back towards the camera. So that's how it would start. One foot is against the wall. So I'm going to hip hinge, soften the load. I stay neutral, make sure everything else is in line and relaxed. My inside hand is going to go up on like a knife edge, like I'm going to karate chop here. Without my body moving in space, I want to try to push this wall down. Now we should feel two kind of points of force, outside foot, inside hand. The next part of this movement is, again, without my body moving, I want to be able to lift that inside foot for two to three seconds and replace it. And I'm going to have you stand up every time and go through the hip hinge. So hip hinge, bend the knees a bit, neutral, breathing well, knife edge here, drive like I'm going to push down the wall. So we got force, force, be able to pick up that foot and replace it. Now the adjunct in this movement, if I come into my hip hinge, keeping my, the inside of my foot down and in contact with the floor, what we want to do is we want to get this knee to rotate and be able to touch the wall. So you can watch on my foot how the arch gets jacked up here as we keep the foot planted without the body moving. So I'm not leaning into the wall here. I'm simply keeping my body neutral, rotating until that knee touches the wall if it can. So we wouldn't want to force the knee to do this with the foot coming up. That's going to basically negate what we're trying to do. One more time. Hip hinge, knee bend, keeping the inside of the foot flush with the floor. We're going to rotate that knee out as far as we can, or if we can hit the wall, that would be our objective. And again, that's our lateral wall push.